Hi, this is Fly Fisher. I'm joined here with Professor X. Professor X is not too uh, excited about the outcome of this uh, particular um, experiment. We followed, uh, you know, uh, Laser Hacker's example of doing the jewel ringer, and uh, you know, as a natural progression from the the crystal cell batteries, which uh, I made here. These are uh, I have twelve. Uh, crystal cell batteries um, that I have in series uh, so I, initially I was getting 18 point something volts now I'm down to about 14 volts holding steady but it really doesn't you know the more you put together of them it really doesn't add much more value I mean you get more volts but that's basically it you know so anyhow so then I after I built this this guy here I figured I'd build the jewel ringer because I wanted to be able to power one of these things right because the ultimate thing is to be able to you know kind of use these things for multi purposes and whatnot so the uh, jewel ringer is built exactly like laser ha hackers description and it works uh, just as he indicated uh, it's that 8, in eight inch iron ferrite core and then I did 511 turns of 28 uh, gauge magnetic wire followed by 12 gauge uh, copper wire which is kind of what you see here but it's it's taped in there so and then down here I have the uh, the moss pit it's set up the same except I guess the difference is I put the one connector to the end rather than have them on uh, both on the collector side here it really doesn't matter I mean this just works for me so uh, I have a diagram so I could show you guys um, I'm not a I'm not an electrical engineer I you know so sometimes those schematics are a little bit too uh, vague I guess in information so I just kind of put together a a uh, description of it to explain how this process works anyhow uh, I just wanted to show that the process works so I just got a, a six volt battery here I'm not gonna run it like laser hacker because it's just a waste of my money uh, it does run a light bulb right here I have a uh, 120 watt uh, light bulb I mean 120 volt light bulb that runs at 9 watts right it does work so I'm just gonna give it a go so you guys can see but I'm not running it because I just don't want to kill my my battery so uh, let me just try to see if I can turn it here there you go so there it goes I'll actually turn the light off so you guys can see it in greater detail so I mean it works I mean it's not super bright as you can see I mean um, so really, you know, uh, it works, but it wastes a lot of electricity, which our whole point is, it defeats the whole point of what we're trying to accomplish. So, so that's that. I'm going to show you the, the schematic here, All right? This is, to me, makes a lot more sense in my mind. Um, you know, everybody, everybody has their own interpretation or ways to make things you know uh, easily understood um, this is the battery you know your your, your positive is going to go into the for me the the 12 gauge uh, wire this is the way it goes in and then as it flips then I got the you know coming out into the collector I just put it on the other side of the collector rather than down here then for for the uh, the bottom end or the where the copper wire starts its turns, I started you know I, I connect the wire here to the base, and then here to you know the uh, the plug. It doesn't matter which side you connect it to, and then of course the negative to the emitter. This uh, this works again. It wastes a lot of fucking electricity. Excuse my language. It's not worth it if there was if your lights were to go out. I highly do not recommend this. Maybe if you have a 12 volt car battery or something and you need a couple hours of light, 
But again, I'm, I, I really like my idea where I'm using these, uh, these uh, LED lights. I mean, truth be told, if you're going to create a, a crystal cell battery sort of like this, it's best if you just kind of work with, um, work with technology that, uh, that runs off batteries because everything's designed for that purpose. I mean, trying to run a 120 uh, volt, uh, you know, light like this on some sort of system like this just doesn't work. It's just not going to happen. So my recommendation is, you know, if you're going to pursue crystal cell batteries, you know, I would I would strictly just work with, um, you know, trying to use things that are battery related or you know, 12 volt related. Um, I think that's the best purpose and way to go if you're going to use crystal cell batteries and and jewel thieves and you know try to get your money's worth at the end of the day these crystal cell batteries they run this light I only need three of them four of them they make this brighter I'll show it in the next video but these run a lifetime now it's not gonna be a lot of light I mean but it will last a lifetime now if I turn this thing on you know you know even with 18 volts it just doesn't register so it's just kind of a you know the crystal cell batteries don't work on that end but this crystal cell battery one one of these one of these uh columns here will run one of these perfectly and i'll show another video of it i'm going to make like a, a you know sort of a a battery pack or uh, a flashlight actually uh using this uh the last one i had it busted when i was trying to run too much voltage through it but it was great. I, it ran for three months before I, I destroyed it with my testing, you know, different techniques or whatnot. But, you know, why why bother, you know, wasting and destroying things when you can just happily use it for what what it what it's for? I mean, this is not going to produce enough to to run anything greater. But at least it runs lights, which I mean, at the end of the day, that's that's free energy. That's probably the freest energy you'll get. Um, you know until someone figures out bigger and grander ideas that it actually works uh or rediscovering uh you know tesla theories or whatnot so anyhow this is fly fisher with professor x talk to you soon